Hey, what's going on, tribe? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So I'm getting ready to pull that collective energy. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Pray you had a wonderful day today, okay? Now, look, it seems like it's time for you to take action on something. Whatever the situation is, I feel like you may have been reflecting on it. I'm going within about it. And now it's time for you to move on it, okay? So whatever those thoughts are, um, move forward. All right, yep, look at that. The action card comes out. Move forward, okay? Now, let me see. It's time to manifest something new is what I'm hearing. Instead of keep manifesting the same cycles over and over again, clarify that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true gods, for showing up and helping me with this collective reading. Don't forget, you guys, use discernment. Never force a message to fit in facial mirror, not my corner section. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, so the death card comes out. So, again, it's like it's it's the ending of something, an ending of a cycle, okay? Um, an ending of a relationship, an ending of a pattern, an ending of a behavior, whatever that ending may be or represents, um... It's time to move on. You know, it's time for it to end so that something new can begin in your life. So, you've thought about it enough, especially when it comes to love. The Ace of Cups comes in a reverse position. You looking for prosperity, you looking for a new relationship, new opportunities, new fortune, new love, new feelings, whatever it may be, you know, do that. Because you might not be happy or you may be repressing some stuff, right? But now is not the time for you to be holding on to what isn't serving you. And what I just heard is like, yeah, now operate in your authentic self. Be true to who you are, you know? So... We want to invite relationships into our lives, but we're not, you know, being true to ourselves. And and this is the time where you need to really listen to your inner wisdom, your higher self, right? With the high priestess. You got to operate in duality on top of that, right? So make sure you're balancing your energy. Um, and again, you are listening to your inner self, especially when it comes to who to give to you. Six of Pentacles, right? In the star card. So have hope and have faith right now because the universe is trying to give to you. The universe is trying to show you that whatever you hope for or you desire can happen or is actually literally happening. But sometimes it's, it, it requires for us to open our eyes so we can see it. But it's not, you know, our 3D eyes. It's your spiritual eyes that you need to open so that you can see it, that it's there, it's around you. Um, clarify. tide of transition comes out and so embrace the ties of change with openness allowing the ebb and flow of life to guide your transformation into love and work so ride the current okay embrace this right this this relationship feel like i mean mm, i said relationship so this definitely must be relationship or love reading and even as i look on the card you got a couple here okay so this is the time for you to embrace this change and release resistance because the answers are unfolding um within this transition but if you're resisting and you're not operating in harmony <laughs> with the flow of this connection then you're resisting it and you're staying in the uh, uh energy that you don't want to be in right uh, energy um that's keeping you stuck and you're being divinely guided so that's the thing. It's like, you just got to trust yourself, trust your wisdom, trust the universe, and remain open to receiving the guidance that's coming through. Because you have this spirit connection is how I'm hearing it, right? Some of you are definitely very intuitive. And um, you already got the answer. Dang. Some of you already know. It's just the resistance. Everything is working out for your highest good. And if you can stay in the here and now, you can see that. Practice mindfulness. 
because this is what's going to help you to stay present and help you to gain the insight that you need but if you keep going back into the past on what you may have lost you know then or what happened in whatever relationship you was in then you can't embrace the here and now and the connection that you have you're free to move this is a real promise to you like you can move on from the past there's nothing that's keeping you stuck but you the world is wide open on your journey right so just release the things of the past <laughs> okay nothing is keeping you bound to the past but you you got the fresh ideas that's what i said you already know stay open-minded here okay because it's also you closing off your heart is what it sounds like and what it's showing me here is that this is a worthy goal so keep working towards your goal your ideas okay um your wish is granted <laughs> clear as day it may not look how you want it to look it may not be what you exactly asked for right the outcome may not be literally exactly what you wanted but it's what you need and so the way spirit works is or the universe however it resonates for you is that you get your prayers are answered based or how can I say it? It's for your highest good. Thank you, my spirit team. It's for your highest good. Right? So you got to trust in the universe to lead you towards your greatest fulfillment. You just got to trust, right? Because sometimes what we, you know, we be praying for, we be, we be asking for, we don't, we don't see the dangers in it. But spirit already sees it. Okay? So... Move into a state of acceptance is what I just heard, okay? Move into a state of acceptance. Decision. Because it's time to make a decision about your relationship. About this relationship, okay? Whatever that may be. Because I know people got certain, you know, situationships. Very intimate friendships. But you got one in particular, okay? That is deeper, I just seen twin flame. Somebody could be dealing with a twin flame. Trust. It's safe for you to trust your situation. You already know the answer to what you see. That's what I said. Some of you are very highly intuitive. You know what's up. So what you waiting on? You may already know that is good for you. That this is where you really want to be. You may know that this is working. You may know that, you know, this situation is really ideal. You may even got, again, the download of Spirit saying, hey, this is safe. You probably heard it from Rita. This is safe. Okay? Now, look, I ain't talking to you folk who um, who deal with people that's beating your ass or, <laughs> or literally, it's not funny, but who could be doing something toxic and, and, belittling you is what I just heard okay that's when you have to step away that's when you have to begin to choose yourself and build yourself back up again spirit will never tell you to stay in a situation that is unhealthy and really harming you okay so once it starts effing with your mental health then you gotta take a step back you are not being called to stay in a situation that way. That's why I ask you to use discernment. Okay, so be mindful before you comment on my post, my video here, on what you're going to say if it's very negative because energy is very transferable. All right? God is not going to have you go back or stay in a situation that is not healthy. Okay? That's why we are being taught to love ourselves wholeheartedly to love ourselves to be whole so that we can discern and pay attention to red flags and and protect ourselves from these type of unhealthy connections and then on top of that as you're learning and you're growing and you're evolving you you may attract these people but shoot you really may not right because you want to attract the people that are on the same frequency as you because even if somebody toxic tries to come in, you're going to repel them, <laughs> basically, because your light is going to be too bright, all right? So just trust yourself. Trust your inner wisdom. Trust the plan. Um, and definitely seek 
some type of guidance from someone you trust or even connect with me for reading.